This right here is a whole fryer chicken. And around me you see my eight week old Lycan Shepherd puppies, the three I have remaining. And this is gonna be a pup bong video. I hope you enjoy it. Raining right now. Just sprinkling, it was raining harder earlier. But it's feeding time here. Got uh, Lobo over in the kennel eating. The other dogs are in the house right now eating. Again, as I said in previous uh, feeding videos over the last couple weeks, we've been training the puppies to uh, chew and uh, properly chew their food up into bite-sized chunks by feeding them large pieces of food and frozen food. We've got several videos on that recently on the channel if you'd like to learn more about that. You can also look in the video description if you'd like to learn more about feeding a raw diet, everything you need to know, including including uh, links to uh, several resources by vets, are there. I ask you to look at those links before asking me any questions in the description. They're going to provide a more thorough answer to your questions than uh, a brief comment from me. Yeah, that's why I provide them. As far as the puppies go, the one on the right is uh, K-Bar. The one in the center is Puko. And uh, the one on the left is the one I'm uh, still uh, have left to place in a home. The puppies are huge for their age. These are the largest, most advanced puppies I've had in 30 years of breeding. chicken. <laughs> this is how they dismember it. Stretch it apart. Now this is not what a typical raw meal looks like for my puppies. If you'd like to see what a typical raw meal looks like, just look at my raw food playlist. I have plenty of videos showing that. This is a pup bong video. It's also a training exercise, as I said, to eat them to properly chew their food up by feeding them larger pieces. about raw bones with dogs, it's only cooked bones that are dangerous. Cooking the bone changes the consistency of the bone and makes it 
indigestible and prone to both perforations and obstructions of the bowel. Raw bones don't do that. But as I always say, you do may need to make sure they are chewing the bones up into proper sized digestible pieces. Chewing is the first stage of digestion. You don't have to worry about raw food bacteria with dogs. 36% of dogs carry salmonella as an after part of the gut flora. They have stronger digestive juices and a shorter G tract than we do, making them biologically designed to deal with raw food bacteria. Nobody's cooking food for canines in the wild. Commercial dog food's only been around 100 years. This is how people fed their dogs before that. It's laughable that people mistakenly try to claim that somehow modern dogs have evolved not to deal with raw food bacteria. I mean, that's absolutely ridiculous. Evolution does not take place in a century. <laughs> that's gonna totally change their digestive tract. Again, this is what they are designed to eat. I've been feeding dogs this way for 20 years with absolutely no problem. I am a former animal warden with almost two decades doing that. I've been breeding, owning, and trading dogs for three decades. I'm 52. Again, I'm not just speaking from stuff I've read. I'm speaking from personal experience. Lots of personal experience. But don't take my word for this stuff. I'm just some guy on YouTube. Do your research. I'm just showing you what I do, and I'm explaining to you why I do it. As I show you what I'm doing, it's up to you to decide whether there's merit to that or not. There are links to a couple of good vet books in the video description by Ian Billinghurst called Grow Your Pups With Bones and Give Your Dog a Bone. I highly recommend them to anyone wanting to learn more about a raw diet. He is the creator of the BARF diet, which is an acronym for Biologically Appropriate Raw Foods, which is one of a couple of different raw diets. There's also the uh, Prey Model Diet and RMB Diet, which is an acronym for Raw Meaty Bones, another diet. Yeah, right there is K-Bar. It's Puko on the left and the puppy I have available on the right. Both are going to be very large puppies. Mm -hmm. Ah, the ever-present sound of sirens in the city. That's little K-Bar howling to the police sirens. As I discussed in my videos, I do like to pet my puppies when they're eating. It helps stop things like food aggression. Now he is growling at this one coming in here. Oh, well, wait a second. You need to see a real relaxed energy. Keep okay, right here.
Yeah, go away, keeper. Mm. I'm working here. <laughs> And my little shadow following me around. Keeper, you're attacking me. I'm trying to pet the puppy. Again, this is the time when they start getting a little more possessive of their food that I implement a lot of uh, food aggression training. Again, it's very important to touch and handle your puppies when they're eating to desensitize them to uh, human touch so they don't view you as a competitor to their food. I've already given them the food. Especially when you have children. As a former animal warden, you know, part of my job used to be to take bite reports and uh, deal with the victims. And uh, I've seen several children and people, you know, bitten very badly over the years in situations that could have been avoided with some forethought and training. And uh, some of this food aggression training when they're young is part of that. So you can see these guys made pretty, pretty quick work of this chicken carcass. Again, uh, I shot a video a couple of days ago of them uh, doing this with another one, and uh, they really dismantled this one uh, a lot faster. Again, k is more interested in following me around than, than eating. This is my little buddy. I really like this pup. I have super high hopes for him. He's super smart. No kisses, you get a face full chicken. Thank you. I'll do a video in the future on why I chose the two puppies I chose from the litter. I had some very specific traits I was looking for from these puppies that uh, I want to carry on into the next generation of the development of the Lycan Shepherd. I don't know if you notice what keeps happening here. K-Bar, I mean uh, Puko, keeps stashing his chicken <laughs> in obscure places and going for the other meat. He's smart like his dad. <laughs> He's like, I just hit that piece, damn it. <laughs> He's a very smart puppy. Both he and... Uh, uh, Puko and Kebar are very smart. All of this, this litter, this whole litter has been extremely intelligent. I keep trying to get in close to shoot, but I've got my little buddy here trying to get pet the whole time. I don't know, this has just been a super special litter. I've uh, 
My favorite litter of any litter I've had in 30 years. It's hard to believe these puppies just turned eight weeks today. They're very advanced for their age. It's a little K bar running her way with this piece. Now, uh, you can see there were organs inside of that. That's uh, some organ meat that just fell out of that piece he's eating right there. Some high winds now after that, uh, after the rainstorm we just had. Gay bar right here. That's the puppy I have available right there. And that's Mr. Puka over here. He watch with Kbar. He's munching through that using his back teeth. You hear him properly crunching through that bone. Using those back molars. That's what you want to see. Mr. Puko right here. These guys love to be pet. This is Puko for the steel. Bear goes for in for the steel. <laughs> That's a cute shot. Again, we just had a big uh, rainstorm here all morning, so everything's wet. We got a bunch of leaves down. See him chewing that up using his back molars.
And that's because we spent a lot of time over the last couple of weeks teaching them to really properly train their, to uh, train them to uh, chew their food. dogs talking. This is all can canine communication. You shouldn't read what that puppy is doing as, as aggression. Cuckoo here says, I want to be pet. Forget, forget filming. Uh oh. <laughs> Got K-Bar doing a little display of dominance on his brother there. Puppy is attacking her. Well, it doesn't seem like these two are going to let me film. <laughs> they want their after food cuddle well I think we'll end this here if you like subscribe and share hit that email notification bell down below and uh, you'll get uh, notifications when my new videos come out bye from Mr. Huko Mr. K-Bar and Mr. Black And also, the beautiful Lobo, who uh, is done eating now himself. Come out, buddy. He says, get me away from these crazy kids. I want to go in the house. That's all. Bye. Say goodbye, Lobo. Good boy. See ya.